Herbs. Now finally the long-running saga has been sorted out, much to the relief of all concerned. It's been something that George Graham inherited, uh, no doing of his, and I know he's been keen to clean the slate and get a squad together where there wasn't uh, any dissentient voice. And he now feels, I'm sure, that he's got the last piece of the jigsaw complete and he can move forward in a constructive way. We on the board, and certainly my legal office, uh, are glad to see the end of the saga. It's uh, taking up a lot of room in the filing cabinet at the moment, and perhaps I can finally have a spring clean. Ever since he made the four and a half million pound move from Palmer, Swedish journalists have followed Brolin's career in England, even travelling to report on reserve team fixtures. Now they're keen to tell their readers just what went wrong. I don't think we can we don't even dream of finding the real story, but it's, you know, the story about Thomas Brolin in Leeds and in playing in a, you know, in a place like this, it's, it's always interesting. And whether you find something new or not, well, you know, it's, you have to see, but just the story about Brolin is always interesting. I don't think there was a fan or even a football observer in this country who wasn't excited by the prospect of Thomas Brolin coming to Leeds United. Tragically, it didn't work out and sometimes these things happen and eventually losses have to be cut and you have to move forward with a new team. Leeds fans will be left with few fond memories of the club's record signing. As he walks away to an uncertain future, they'll reflect on the fact that his 19 league games cost £237,000 apiece. Expensive in more ways than one.